For problem 30, this following Riemann sum here on the closed interval from 0 to 1 is an approximation for which definite integral? So in order to answer this question, let's take a look at some general function and think about what the definition of a definite integral actually is. So the definite integral from a to b of f of x dx, graphically at least, just tells us that if we restrict the region underneath this curve from an x value of a to an x value of b, then this definite integral will compute for us the area of this region here. And the definition of this definite integral is essentially a Riemann sum. So what we do is we take this region between A and B and we split it up into equally sized regions. So if I just drew a few of them in, these regions would be equally spaced and would be of equal length and we can call each of them just delta X. And delta X would essentially just be the length of the entire region, B minus A, divided by the total number of times we split it up. And for now, I'll just call that n. And what we can essentially do to find an approximation to the area under this curve is by using one of these bases, delta x, and by drawing in a rectangle that would essentially approximate the area under the curve. It's either going to be too big for the curve or it's going to be too small, where the height of this rectangle is essentially just whatever this right endpoint is, so I'll call it x sub i, plugged into the function. So the height of this function would essentially be this point here for f of x sub i. And so this base delta x times by the height of the rectangle would give the area of the rectangle. And we can essentially do this for each of these regions, drawing in more rectangles here that would approximate this area under the curve and we can find the area of each of these rectangles and then just add them all up. So we'd essentially end up with, we have the area of just one of the rectangles, f of x sub i times by the base delta x, and then we wanna add this area up, the area of each of the rectangles, and we'll start with an index of one and we'll go to n, since n is the number of times we've divided this region. And since x sub i, in this case, we're using the right endpoint, but you could use the left endpoint or the middle one. But x sub i essentially starts at a, and so this would be the first one here. So it would be a plus uh, essentially just delta x. But we'll put i times delta x, so that if we want the second one, we'll add delta x twice and end up here. And this equation here would essentially approximate the area under the curve. But as we increase the number of divisions of this region from A to B, or essentially as we make delta x smaller and smaller, the rectangles are gonna better and better approximate the area under the curve. And as we let the limit of n go to infinity, these regions are gonna essentially become infinitely small and will perfectly approximate the area under the curve. So in the limit, as n goes to infinity, this equation here will be the exact area under the curve. So we can say that the definite integral is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of this sum, this Riemann sum from i equals one to n of f of x sub i, which is just our starting value plus i delta x, and then multiplied by delta x. And now, using the information we were given, we know that this Riemann sum is over the interval from 0 to 1. So we can figure out delta x from that information. And we also know that n is 50, since that's the upper bound on our Riemann sum. So delta x would be, so b minus a, but remember that our region is from 0 to 1, so we have b is 1 minus zero for a all over n, but n is 50 in this case. So delta x is just gonna be one over 50. And x sub i in this case is just gonna be a, the starting value of the region, which is zero, plus i times delta x, and delta x is one over 50, so x sub i is just i over 50. And essentially what our sum simplifies to, and we have an approximation 
to this definite integral because we're not taking a limit here. But our approximation is essentially going to be this sum from i equals 1 to 50 of f of x sub i, but that's i over 50 times by delta x, which we know is 1 over 50. And now comparing this to the Riemann sum we were given, notice that this i over 50 is squared. So what that essentially tells us is that our function is the squaring function, or just x squared. Since if we plug in i over 50 into this function here, it'll come out as i over 50 squared. So what this all tells us is that our Riemann sum essentially approximates the definite integral from 0 to 1 of x squared dx. And if we were to take a limit and let this value here approach infinity, it would also be this value here and here. But if we took that limit as n goes to infinity, then this would exactly equal this definite integral.